This Pottery Barn dupe used to be a cheap plastic cauldron. I'm going to show you how to get this look here on the Refurbished Life. I'm going to start off this project with some spray primer. Next I'm going to use some clay to build up the handles to make them look a little more prominent. I'm pressing the clay around the handle really firmly to make sure that there's contact everywhere. It's just going to look a little messy at first and then we're going to shape it using this little clay knife and then also rubbing areas just with your finger. You could also use a wet sponge to kind of glide across it and smooth it out as well. But for the look we're gonna be going for, it's fine to have a little bit of bumps. Next, we're gonna get this Drydex joint compound and I'm gonna put a bunch between my hands, kind of just rub it around and then pat it everywhere. You don't have to have any specific way you do this, just pat it everywhere in a pretty thick layer. I decided to get out my little stand which I typically use for furniture so that I can more easily work and turn this in circles when I need. I like to use paper plates for pressing down the peaks to give it that stone look and I like that using a paper plate is obviously inexpensive but it's flexible too so you can use it in little dips like that and you're not able to do that with things like a putty knife. Then I just go back around and make sure everything's down the way I like it and now it is time to make our rope. Again using the same clay and rolling it, making it thinner and thinner. I have to make quite a long strand so every now and then there's little cracks here and there so I have a little cup of water handy to brush on there now and then. I make two of these strands and start twisting them together. As you see here, I'm using a bit of water because it's starting to dry because of how long these are and the time it took to make them. Just keep twisting and as I get to the end, I'm able to put them one over the other. As I was laying down the rope, this part broke off and I left this bit in here just to show you that Things go amiss and it's all right. I just got out my knife and reshaped it. And then I was realizing I needed it to stick better. So I added some joint compound. If I could go back, I would have applied the joint compound first before putting the rope on, but it's all right. It turned out fine. And then you just let all of these parts dry overnight and then it will look something like this. Now I'm gonna go in with the base color French linen. It's just from Walmart. At first I was using this chip brush but I needed something better for stippling so I switched over to my chalk brush here. I make sure to get the bottom as well and the inside. Next I get white and khaki colored paint. And I'm going to mix them together and when I apply it, it's just very randomly and sometimes I'll pick up a little more white in my brush or a little more khaki just to make sure it's staying varied over the surface. And we want to make sure that the base color still is peeking through so we don't want a solid layer of this over. But you just keep layering it and applying it until you're happy. Whenever the paint gets too heavy in spots, you just get your sponge and a little water and dab some off. So we could leave it like this. And I do like the look of that, but what I think I'm going to do is get some dark brown. I might make, mix these together, I'm not sure yet. And uh, dilute them with water and then I'm going to dab it in the twist and around the handle and on the inside and let it kind of soak in, maybe drip down a little bit. I'm going to dab it with my sponge or paper towels or both. So we'll see how that goes. I'm trying to decide how stark I want it. Okay. 
Let's just try it out. I might wipe back a little bit there. Just be careful not to overwork an area because you don't want to start making the joint compound separate underneath. I do want to pick up a little bit of this. It was a little heavy handed. It's hard to know what you want to do until you just go in and do it and then I mean how else do you learn before we get to the end of our project thank you so much for watching if you haven't already please hit that subscribe it will alert you when my videos are posted and it really helps my channel grow and let me know down below in the comments what you thought of this project and what you'd like to see next Sometimes I get nervous to try like an idea in my head and it's kind of a problem because if you don't try it, you ruin the potential of making something better because you're afraid of trying something that might not work. So I have to tell myself that all the time. After you've gotten the paint how you like it, the last step is to spray on a clear top coat in whatever sheen you prefer. Let's take one last quick look at where we started and here we go.